Welcome to session three, initializing a new DBS check. Having added all your people and their roles, checks to be started is where the DBS is you need to process will be pushed. There is no longer any need to check reports or lists as the system automatically checks both the level of check a person has against their roles and the date of that check. And on the month 57 moves your renewals into this area. You can access it by clicking here. You will also see this in your summary screen and you can access the checks to be started just literally clicking on that. You will see the process next live in the training benefits. So you'll see the steps and things to look out for, such as the level of check to apply, when to apply a check greater than the one advised. Noting we will cover the update service in session four and corrections to applications in session five. So to start the checks, we click on checks to be started here. Here's Jim Chop's record, which we're going to process. You can see by clicking on this is how you initialize the check and it says add a DBS check for Jim. And this red triangle, which actually sh shows the logic and what is actually missing for Jim, which is an enhanced child and adult check, which we'll see in the next screen. And I'll explain a bit more about this when we actually look at another record in a minute. So we initialize a check, it tells us what to do. So we'll accept enhanced child adult. Add a volunteer, and we're going to do this as a charity trustee. Now, for most of you, you're, you will have a, a verify here to select, which may well be yourself. Um, in this case, because this particular site doesn't have one set up, um, I would have to add this manually. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to add my name and email address there. Notice an application number is automatically applied and in order to send the email to this person you just click on email application to applicant and you're done. Click save and now if you go into ongoing checks you see Jim is there, mm -hmm. the position we're applying for a check for and the application was sent so that confirms it and the date it was sent. If this by the way says started that just means that in fact the email hasn't actually been sent so you need to go back into that record and send it. But going back to checks to be started again I want to just look at Frank Pickle's record here. You'll notice he's got a, a DBS, a valid DBS for enhanced adult check and if we click on the red triangle here and open this up Bit larger so you can see it. You can see that because of his adult group helper, that's an enhanced adult, and open the book is enhanced child. Actually, what he needs is an enhanced child adult check. It's actually the logic is saying here, ah oh, yes, he's got this check which is valid, and therefore he's recommend it's been recommended that you have a certificate for enhanced child. Now, when you actually do this check, I would always do a check for both both roles. In other words, do a new DBS check for uh, enhanced child and adult so that that check can then be registered possibly on the update service and be a complete DBS for, for this person. So that's the only thing to be watchful for uh, when that circumstance arises. And I think that's good for now until the next time. Thank you. I hope you found this short video helpful and please do check out the others in this series. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you're notified the next time the diocese uploads a new video. Take care and God bless.